Hi everyone, I'm Sheila Peters and we're about to start a stretch body awareness class. Please make sure you modify as needed. Let's start in a nice wide position so our legs are rotated out. We're just going to push through the hip from one side to the other just to start to get a little bit of movement going through our bodies. Keep going, reach and out and reach and out. Let's go to the right side and lean over with our upper body and come up. Hips go out and lean even more over by our body again. Up and shift. Good. Bringing up and over. Lift up and reach. Good. Upper body is counterbalancing the push out of the hip. Good. We have one more set in each side. Now, if you've been doing any walking or running, you may find that you get a little opening in that IT band as we take this. Let's go back over to the right. From here, we're going to reach the arm out, up, and over. Swing down, up. And each time you go over with the arm, see if you can make your hip go out to the side a little bit more. Reach. Good. And last one. Up and over and reach. Good. Hand goes on the hip. Come up right. And let's take it to the other side. So hip goes out. Reaching with the arm up and over. Good. Reach. Push that hip out even farther. Reach. And swing. And around. Good. And swing. And around. Good. Coming back into the hips. Let's bend our knees. If you need to have a wider position so you can get deeper into this, great. So from here, rocking side to side. Good. Now you may find that you're getting a little bit of a stretch through the inside hip and thigh area. Once more, out and out. Let's take the same pattern. Out, drop the torso over. Feeling a little more stretch through here. Drop down and go to the other side. Reach. Repeat. Down. Out. So we're trying to concentrate on the hip going out, but also feeling that stretch on the inside thigh of the opposite leg. And reach, push, so you can get the torso over a little bit more. Draw down, push that hip out, lean, and last set, down, and to the side, good. And down, and side, let's go back into that arm swing. Down, hip, lean. And here we go. We're reaching the arm up and stretch. Still pushing out through that hip. Down and reach. Lengthening the arm. Down and reach. And last one. Down. So you can go over to the side a little bit more. Excellent. Come up. Hand goes to the hip and switch to the other side. Torso goes over. Reaching arm. Down. Up and over. Good. Keep breathing. And reach. Lengthen. Drop down, push the hip out more, reach, arm out, and last one, down, reach, and over. Good, come down and come up right. Let's go into a more of a parallel position, and we're going to reach across ourselves. We're going to take the front arm and twist it so it reaches past the other arm, and release. Twist, and release. Twist, and release. And twist. And release. Let's take it to the other side. And push, twist, and release. And our hips are trying to stay front. And release. Good. Twist, reach, and release. And last one. And release. Let's go back over to this side. And twist, and release. We're going off to a dot and a line. Release. And twist, and release. And twist, and release. Other side. Twist. And release. Twist the upper body as the hips stay still. Shoulders are trying to stay down. And last time, reach and out. Let's go back to this side. We're going to grab some energy from the sky. Bring it to our shoulders. Cross our body, bend the knee. Drop the head down and hang. Grab energy from the earth. Coming up, leg will straighten across. Reach, twist. Reach. Pull it down into your body. Good. And drop it down. Head is loose. Grabbing from the earth. 
pulling it up, straighten the leg, lift, cross, and reach once more. Out, pull it in. Coming across the body, bend the knee, drop, let that head hang, loose head, grab, pull, lift it up, cross, reach, and out. Let's take that to the other side. Here we go. Reach. Hips are staying in front. As you do that, reach, bend the knee, drop the head down, and hang. Grab from the earth. Pull it up. You're nourishing your body with the energy from the universe. Out, bring it in, cross it over, bend, drop, head goes down, and nourishing your body from the earth energy, the Gaia energy coming up. Cross it over, reach, and out. Last time, out, bring it in, cross it over, bend, drop that head, and let the shoulders be loose, and bring it in, lift, coming up through the body as the leg strings. Reach and out. Excellent. Drop the arms down. A circle the shoulders forward. Lift. Back. Down. Forward. Lift. Back. And down. Two more. Front. Lift. Back. And down. Once more. Front. Lift. Back. Reverse it. Go into the back. And lift. And front. And down. To the back. Lift. Front. Down, push it back, lift forward, last set, and back, lift it up, front and down, let's bring arms out, lift, head comes up, reach, and arms go down as the chin goes down to the chest, and cross it, and lift, up, chin is moving all the way up, and down, two, three, two more, and reach out, lift, up. Reach, chin up, drop it, two, three, chin down, average out, lift, up, reach, and down, two, three, and release. Head comes to neutral. And we're going to turn your head to the right as the arms out to the side and crossing over. Two, three, four, open out, two, reach the other side, and cross it over, two, three, Four, open out. Two, three, four. And eyes follow, hands reaching. Cross it and open. Hips stay still. Three and four. Once more. Over. Two, three. Feel that cross and open. Two, three, and four. Let's go back over to the right. Two, three, and four. Hold it. Grab your hands together. We're going to reach the hands out, keeping the hips forward with a twist. Breathe in, exhale, reach, and inhale. You might not have much motion, and reach, but hips stay front. We're twisting the upper body. Breathe in, and reach out, good. And last one, breathe in, and reach out, good. Open the arms, and let's take that whole thing to the other side. Before we do, just notice what feels different in your body from one side to the other. Okay, so from here, we're crossing over with the hands to watching the fingers. Good, and open with that head, following the fingers. Breathing one, two, three, four, open out, two, three, and four. Two more. Heads, look at the hands, and cross it, and hips, stay front, breathe. Good, last one, out, around. Good, and reach it, and open, two, three, and last one. Here we go, we're gonna hold this one because we go into that twisted position, and stay still, grasp the hands together, shoulders down, inhale, exhale, twist, reach that hand across. And again, inhale, exhale, reach. Two more, inhale, exhale, reach. And last one, inhale, Exhale and reach. Good. Open and come to the front. Let's bend our knees and take a little swing. So we're getting a little more looseness in the upper body and the waist area. And one more in each direction. And stay. Good. Bring the feet together so they're right underneath the hips. Let's bend the knees and we're going to reach the arms out. And work with the ribcage so we're pressing out and out. 
that. Sometimes when we have bad knees in this position, we find that we can actually isolate this rib cage a little bit more. Plus, by holding on to the abdominals, you're getting a little core work as well. Let's take that in triplets. One, two, three, and one, two, three, good, and one, two, three, and one, two, three. Now we're going to add to this. One, two, three, bring the arm over and clasp the hands together, and now we're going to straighten the legs up, reaching up and out, bend the knees, inhale, exhale, reach, feeling that side stretch, good. Two more, bend and reach in, and now reach out, and bring it in, and reaching out, side body stretch, come up right, and let's come open, bend the knees. Let's repeat the whole thing to the left. So we have ribs, two, three, four, reach, out, reach, out. Triplets, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, pull, again, and reach it, and uh, one, two, three, and pull. Once more, over to the side. Here we go, reaching the arms over, clasping the hands together, deep breath in. As you exhale, stretch the legs straight as you reach the arms to the side. And again, bend, release, inhale, exhale, reach. Two more. Bend, inhale. Exhale and stretch. Last time. Bend, inhale, and stretch and reach. Excellent. Good. Coming up right, open. And let's get into a little bit more of the lower back. So I'm going to turn to the diagonal. We're going into a flat back. From here, really pressing that spine flat. We're going to curve the spine up as the head goes down. So we're going into our cat arch position. Push through the hips, elbows are bent, and into your arch. Curving through that spine. Cat. Push through and go. Rolling through that spine. Cat. Push through and go. One more time. Rolling up into your cat. Push through into your cow. Now let's fold from the cow so our legs are going to be staying bent and we're letting our bodies just hang and drop. Deep breath in. As we exhale, we straighten the legs. Trying to keep our chest on the thighs as best we can. Keeping the head loose. Again, bend, inhale. Exhale and stretch. Two more. Bend. Inhale. Exhale. And stretch. And bend. Inhale. Exhale. And stretch. Bend the knees. We're going to put our hands on our knees once again. And we're going to arc up through the body. So we're arcing up all the way. And then rolling down as we bend our knees and go into that cat. But this is a different variation. Pushing through into your cow, arching up as you straighten the legs. Roll down, bend the knees, keep the upper back, lower back, sorry, lifted, and then push through, arc, and lift. Let's take that one more time. Roll down, and cat, push through, and arch up. So we're trying to warm up that spine. Let's stay in this position here and go all the way down from the top of the head, rolling down. Bend the knees and hang. And then rolling up. Come all the way up, shoulders down and lift. We're going to take three of these. So we're really trying to open up the spaces in between the vertebra, dropping down, really working that spine. And then again, engaging the abdominals as you roll up through that spine and see if there's more space in between the vertebra. And then rolling down, breathe, bend, hang, rolling up, lift, come all the way up, head's the last thing that lifts, and last one, dropping down, roll, 
slide, pull the abdominals in so your back is lifted, and then rolling up. Lift, breathe, and stay. Widen that stance a little bit. Let's go into a flat back position, into our squat. So we have one, and up, and two, and lift. Breathe it out, and up, and out. We're going to take four more. Here we go. Four, and up, flat back, out, and up. Two more. Reach, and up. Good. And last one. And uh, let's take one more, go out, and we're going to take some little pulses and make our arms work with us. So our arms are dropping as we pulse and pulse and pulse and pulse. Keep going. And up and out and out. Good. Lifting up. You might have felt that in your legs. All right. So let's go back into a parallel position. And we're going to reach the arm over, grab it with the other arm, so we're pulling, and now we're going to bend our knees and bring it down to the floor. From here, that energy that you pull down, you're pressing in that hand, and you're letting the other arm come up, and you're taking a twist. Drop the hand back down, grab the wrist, and pull that up through the body. So it's a variation of what we did before. Reach, pull, cross, bend. Draw the head down, plant that hand, keeping a bent knee, reaching the other arm up and feeling a twist. Maybe your arm can get a little farther back there as you twist your body. And drop down, let the head drop completely. Grab some of the earth energy coming back up, through, and reach. Let's take it once more. Grab, hold, coming through, bend both legs, plant the hand, head down, other arm reaches, lifts, twists, and then comes down and grabs, brings some of that earth energy up through the body, up and twist. Good. Take a moment to register how that side of your body feels. Let's take it to the other side. So we're grabbing the hand here, we're reaching, and we're pulling, coming across the body, bend the knees, drop the head down, plant the hand down, and then reach the other arm up and twist this first time it might feel a little less range of motion and then reach the hand down grab it lift it coming up cross and twist you have to stay front as you grab pull coming across down bend hang hand plants other arm reaches out and you're twisting your body to the ceiling, towards the ceiling. The arm goes maybe a little farther back than it did the last time. And you stay back, put the arm down. Grab, pull, lift, reach, hips in front, and twist. Last time, grab, Oops, keep those hands together. Cross it over, then drop, hang, hand goes down. Other arm reaches up as you take that nice twist that might feel good, better each time, reach. Good, and come down, grab, lift, coming up, across, and twist. Good. I'm going to go to the end of my mat here. We're going to take those rolls down your body. Again, we'll go into a plank position. If you need to do a modified position there, you can. So from here, rolling down, go into the spine, bending the knees, hands go down, walk the hands out, come to a plank. Hold it for a minute, engaging the abdominals. Bend the knees, walk the hands back. Hang that head, roll up through the spine, all the way until we come to an upright position. Three more. Roll down, curve, bend, draw. Hands walk out, getting into that plank position, making sure your derriere is in line with the rest of your body. Bend the knees, rolling in, grab the abdominals, roll up through the spine, lift. And then it comes up. Two more. Breathing. Dropping down. Curve. Bend. Hands go down. Walk those hands up into your plank. Getting into a strong position. Good. Bend the knees. Come back. Drop the head down. Rolling up through the spine. You should be feeling like you're getting warmed up here. And let's take the last one. Rolling down. Bend. Come down. Hands. Walk out to your plank. Good, hold it. 
You want a nice stretch there. Excellent. And then bend the knees, come out, drop, head down, rolling up through the spine. Okay, let's go down one more time. We'll take a little rest. Rolling down, bend the knees, walk the hands up, and let's come to a hands and knees position. Release the toes and go back into a child's pose just to take a nice little break for a moment for your backs. Good deep breaths. And then coming back up to your hands and knees position. From here, curl the toes under. We're going to push our hips all the way up into a down dog position. So we're stretching out the backs of the legs some. Heads go down. Lift both heels up and both heels down. Stretching out the Achilles, making sure that your derriere is going straight up to the ceiling. And lift up. A little stretch in the instep of the foot. And then press and feel a stretch in your Achilles. Two more. Lifting up. Good. And press down. Pushing out through the heels. Heads nice and loose. And come up. Last time. And come down. Good. Let's bend the knees, but not touch the floor with those knees. And come back into your down dog. You're holding on to your abdominals. And bend. And come back up. So you're hovering these knees out. And again, bend. And hover. And stretch. And lengthen. Really feel those heels working. Bend. And hover. Good. And up. And stretch. Excellent. Coming to the knees position, you can put your feet, knees on the floor and release the toes. The sling or swing that front leg forward. So we're getting into more of the back hip here and maybe a little bit of a stretch through the hamstring on this front leg. So our hips are forward. Feeling that stretch. We're going to push back with the hips to straighten the front leg. So we're pushing back. Trying to lay our chest down towards the um, thigh there. Elbows are bent. And we're working on that hamstring on the front leg. Maybe your toes, even though they're pointed, come off the floor. That's okay. Keep that extension in the ankle there into a point. Come up and press forward. This time you may find that you can get a little farther forward. So allow your body to push into that stretch or sort of surrender into that stretch. Deep breath in. Exhale, pushing back. Hip goes behind, away from your front toe, lengthening through the back of the hamstring. Elbows are nice and loose. Again, come up, breathe, inhale, and then exhale and press forward. Increasing the stretch, should feel good. And then come back. And releasing that head back, foot is still pointed, head is down, shake it out, elbows are loose. Increasing the stretch, we're going to lift the toe up in front, flex it, push through the ball of the foot and point. Keep breathing, flex, feeling the hips shift back slightly, press through the ball of the foot and point. Trying to let the body go a little closer to the leg, two more sets. Flex, shoulders are loose. Ball the foot and point. Last one. Flex, press and out. Press, press, press. Ball the foot and point. Good. Come all the way forward. From here, push back, bring a leg behind, and go into child's pose. And notice if the side we worked on feels different than the other side. And coming back up. Let's get the other leg in front. Remember, you got that set up with the knee over the ankle there. And then press forward so you can feel a stretch in the opposite hip. Breathing. Good. From here, we're going to push back. The foot is pointed. We're trying to drape our torso over that thigh. Head is dropped. Feeling the lengthening that happens in the back of the long leg. Coming up, breathe in, press forward, feeling the hip going forward. And breathe and press back, heads down, elbows bent, 
Shake that head out so you know that you're really letting it be loose and increasing that stretch through the long leg. And come forward and bend. Hip goes forward. You may find that your hip can go even farther forward than it was before. Breathing in and then exhale, push that hip back, hands down, elbows drop, allowing the foot to stay pointed. The toes may have left the floor, but you're keeping that extension in that ankle to a pointed foot. Last time, come forward, breathe, and release, pushing out through that hip of the back leg. Good. And once again, shifting elbows down, pushing. The long leg hip back and hip is loose. Let's add a flex standpoint. So here we go. Flexing through that heel. Keep folding the body over that leg so that you can get more of a stretch in the hamstring. And then push the foot ball and point. Flex. Ball the foot and point. Two more. Flex the foot up, feeling the hip reaching to the back. And ball the foot and point. Last time. Flex. Pushing out through the heel. Ball the foot and point. Let's come forward once again with the hip. And we'll come back. Slide that leg behind and go back into child's pose and just rest for a moment. Let's roll up through the spine, straight bodies. We're going to reach the arms forward, and we're going to twist to your right here. Reaching out, draw it down, lift, and twist. Drop it down, lift, and twist. Drop it down, lift, and twist. And we're going to do two sets with hands flexed. Reach up. Now flex the hands and see if you can push the hands away from each other. Reach in front of them. Good. Keeping a twist in that spine as you reach the arms in opposite directions. Flexed hands. Shoulders are down. Let's take it once more in each direction. Lift, flex, and twist. Good. And drop down, lift. Up, flex the hands, and Excellent. Coming to the center, let's curl the heads down and inch our way out. So we're going to come down onto our bellies. From here, let's put one hand on top of the other, and you're going to um, place your forehead on it. We're going to do another isolated stretch for the Achilles. So it's pretty easy, but I want you to hold your abdominal muscles in so that your navel's going up towards your lower back. So from here, we're going to curl the front foot and get the toes underneath, and then from a deep breath in, as you exhale, we're going to push the heel back. You're going to feel that the leg straightens, and you're really holding into those abdominals. So it's kind of a poor exercise while we're also isolating that uh, Achilles in this leg. Reach it. Knees down, toe releases. Let's take it to the other side. Curl the toe under. Breathe in. Exhale, holding on to the abdominals. Keeping that heel reaching out, lengthening through that body. Release knee down and toes relax. Let's take it again. Curl the toes from the first leg and press out. Engage those abdominals. Pressing out. Release the knee down and toe legs go. Let's take it to the other side. Toes curl under. Inhale, exhale. Feeling the abdominals working in. Pushing out through the heels, breathing, release the knee down and toe releases. We're going to take it once more in each direction. Curl the toes under, inhale. As you exhale, push the heel out, keeping the abs engaged. You don't always have to do crunches to get the abs working. Knee down, toe releases. Other side, curl the toe under, inhale. Exhale, press out, engage the abs, feel that lengthening out through the back of the leg, back of the calf. Good. Release it, toe down, and let everything rest. And now let's bring our hands underneath here. 
under our rib cage, and we're going to roll up through their upper body. Push them through the hands. Lift and roll up. Roll down and release. Breathe in. Exhale, roll them up. And we're starting with our head as we push our body up. So we're going into that arch position. We did something similar when we were standing. And then engaging the abdominals as you roll down and making your elbows come close to your rib cage so you get a little tricep work here. Rest the forehead. Two more. Deep breath in. Exhale. You're pointing the feet. Head comes up. If their arms do the work, shoulders are down. And... And then come back down, hugging the elbows into the chest, rolling through the front of the body, and the head drops. Last time, deep breath in, exhale, head push up, lift. Feel that nice arch feedback. And then come back down again, hugging the elbows in, release, and let it go. Good. We're going to bend it back up into our hands and knees position, pushing back into child's pose once again. Coming up to our hands and knees, we're going to do a little bit of um, loop work. So we're going to bring our front leg up, foot is pointed, and we're in a parallel position. We're going to flex the foot, and we're going to lift the heel up, holding on to the abs. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, now point feet. Eight, one, two, three, four. Shoulders are down. Six, seven, and eight. Flex the foot, bring the leg down, and then release the foot. Other side, flex, push up, making sure you have a strong position using your abs. And up, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, point the foot, repeat, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, flex the foot, coming down, and then flex the other foot, and we're going to just push back, so we're stretching out through those Achilles, trying to get that lower part of our legs into the ankles to really feel like it's getting some motion there. Let's rock forward slightly. Inhale, exhale, push the heels down so you can get them closer to the floor. We're going to take this four times. Coming forward, inhale, exhale, and push. Two more. Inhale, and then exhale, push. Lay out through those heels. Good. And rock forward, inhale. And exhale and push out. Good. Let's come forward. We're going to go back onto our hands and knees and do a similar exercise as we just did. Um, but we're going to move our knees out to the side, to our elbow. So lifting this leg up, let's flex it. Let's open it to the side and bring it back. Open it to the side. Knee comes to the elbow and back. And open. Again, we're trying to maintain our abdominals in a tight position. In and out. Let's repeat that with the point of feet. And in. Anytime you need to stop, you can. And in. And up. And in. And up. Last one. And in. And up. Flex the foot. Come down. Feel that little extra crush there. And then release. Let's take it to the other side. So from here, leg comes up, flex the foot. We're going to open it to the side, knee goes to the elbow, and up. Holding onto the abs and keep breathing. Side and up. Two more. Side and up. And side and up. Point the foot. Repeat. Side and Keep going. I know it's tough. If you need to stop, you can. And two more. In, and then rejoin us when you can. And out, and up. Good. Flex the foot. Press out through that heel a little bit. A little more Achilles stretch. And release. And let's go back into child's pose. 
Heads are down. Coming forward once again, curl both toes. And we're going to go into a down dog once again. So we're pressing out through those heels. Lift both up. Inhale. Exhale and press. Pushing through the heels. Again, two more. Lift and press. Hips go straight up. And lift. And pressing down. I guess I lied. We're going to do one more. And lift up. And come down. Press. Excellent. Let's come to a plank. And if it feels uncomfortable for you to be in a full plank, you can go to your elbows. We're going to cross the back leg over the ankle of the front leg. And from here, we're pushing the heel of the foot that's still on the floor out. So we're getting additional stretch through that Achilles. Good. Release. And let's switch it, cross it, and press. Keeping the abs engaged. As I say, always, if you need to take a break and then come back to it, you can. Good. Let's come back and go back into your down dog position. Excellent. Pushing out through the heels and up through the hips. Bring the knees down. Release. And let's just sit. Okay, we're going to take an extended stretch for the hamstring, but we're going to be in a slightly different position than we normally are when we do this. So we're going to take that front leg, shoot it out in front, and the back leg is behind you, and you're trying to bend it and keep the leg as far back with the knee as you can while still maintaining balance and keeping your body so that you are over the long leg, and the leg is rotated out a little bit. You may find that you're getting a stretch in that hip, the back hip. If you need to, you can bring that leg a little closer in towards the other one. So here we are, feeling the balance right on top of the long leg. Breathing in, exhale, reaching out, trying to get the chest onto the thigh, and drop the body down, and just hang. Nice deep breaths. Allowing your body to settle into the stretch. We're extending the hamstring stretch that we started with before. So now we're going to take a flex through the foot to increase it. So breath in. As you exhale, you're flexing out through that heel. And again, trying to settle the chest down towards the legs. If your knees are slightly bent, that's okay. But you're still aiming the chest towards the thighs and folding from the front hip there in this flex position. Let's take a pointed position, breathing in. Again, exhale and press out your heel. See if again you can lengthen the body a little bit further along the legs there. Breathe in, point the foot. Exhale, flex. Continuing the extension of the torso along the leg. And last time, inhale, point the foot. Exhale, pressing out through that heel. You can turn your head like I am so you can get maybe more of a lengthen of the whole body along the um, leg as opposed to trying to make your nose be down. So you've got a nice long fold. Good. Point the feet. Let's reach the arms up, coming back upright and come in and switch. So we're going to bring the legs together and bring the other leg behind. Now I'm facing this direction so you can see what it looks like on the other side. So we've got this hip roll forward a little bit. This leg is bent. The front leg is rotated out and your weight is more on this leg. Foot is pointed, arms up, deep breath in. Exhale and come down, folding the chest onto the leg. I'm going to keep my head to the inside, but you may want to switch your head to the outside. I'm keeping it to the inside so that you can still hear me as I speak. Okay, so the feet are pointed. You're allowing that body to really settle into that leg. Your elbows are bent. You're trying to relax into this as much as you can think of relaxing when you're doing an intense stretch. 
And from here, deep breath in. As you exhale, you're going to flex out through the heel. Feeling that hamstring lengthen and open up more as your torso surrenders into the floor a little bit more, drapes out over the leg. Push through the ball of the feet and point as you inhale. Exhale, pressing out through the heel, allowing the body to adjust so it can get a little farther down towards the leg. Maybe it lengthens along the leg a little bit more. Point the feet, inhale. Exhale, flexing out through the heels. Settling down into the stretch. Inhale, all the foot and point. Exhale, pressing out through the heel. We're going to do this one more time. Inhale, point the feet. Exhale, pressing out through the heels and draping the body over and down. Big, long stretch here. Point the feet, reach the arms out, and come up right. Good. Help yourself to bring your legs all the way to the front. And let's roll down through our backs all the way down. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see what I'm doing. So our on our backs, and we're going to let our arms go out to the side. We're going to flop the right leg to the side, foot to the floor, knee to the ceiling. Left leg to the side, foot to the floor, knee to the ceiling. Adjust that spine. Good. Bring the knees into the chest. Clasp the hands together and put your knees in the crook of your elbows. Or if that doesn't work for you, you can take your hands and pull down here. Good. Reach your legs up. Let's flex the feet. Rotate the legs out, and we're going to cross one leg in front of the other. So I'm putting my right leg in front of the other, trying to cross up the thighs, and we're going to beat the inside thighs. Open, close, open, close, open, close. Keep going. And third time, here's the fourth set, and close. Point the feet, repeat. One, and two, and three, and four. Keep going. Five, and six, and seven. And eight, come forward, flex. This time we're going to open the legs and we'll go slower. So we're going all the way out and cross over other thigh. Heels press out, opening the inside thigh and cross. And open and cross. And open and cross. Point the feet, repeat. All the way open and cross. So you're rotating the legs. And point across and first one leg in front and then the other leg out and cross. Good, flex the feet. This time we're going to push the heels away and we're going to allow our bodies to just let the weight of the legs to get into this stretch here. Opening up through the inside thighs. If you'd like to, you can add some weight with your hands going to the sides. If your knees are bent, and you're still getting a stretch, and that's as far as you can go, that's fine. Wherever it is, it could be up higher. And here we are. Let's take a deep breath in. And exhale, opening up the inside thigh. Again, breath in. And exhale, pressing the heels out. This can be quite extreme. Once more, inhale. And Exhale, feel the heels reaching away. Good. And once more, deep breath in. And exhale, pressing the heels away, lengthening out through the inside thigh. Good. Release the knees, bring the legs in. Let's go back into that hug. Once again, whether your hands are on top of your knees or you've got your knees in the front of the elbow. Good. From here, bring the knees together, bring the knees and slide them over to the left. And you can let your upper body move more to the right. And we're going to take what's known as a fan kick, using that inside thigh position. So we're stretching the right leg out, rotate it out, 
Open the left leg, feel the rotation here, feet are pointed, we're gonna move to the other side, coming over, bending the right leg, left leg comes in and close it over and allow your knees to close and touch here and your upper body is twisting to the left so you get a little spinal twist. And let's repeat it to the other side. So we're extending the left leg. Rotate it out as you travel up and over. Extend the right leg. That's turned out to, And then bend in with the left leg. And then you can bend in with the right leg. And feel the knees touching and twist. Let's take that once more in each direction. And we'll smooth it out a little bit. So right leg up. Open left leg. Coming over, crossing, bending, dropping, and twisting. Left out, open, rig leg goes out, switch, open, cross, bend, and twist. Oh, that felt good. Let's do it once more. Reach, lift, up, open, feel that long fan kick. That's what this is called, it's a fan kick, and twist. And last time. Reach out, open, lift, twist, come over, bend it, cross, and twist. Good. Come into a neutral position, bringing that arm over, pushing yourself up into a sitting position. Okay, I've tried to make today a little bit faster um, and a little bit more intense so that you have a choice of different lengths of classes to take. Some days you wanna go a little slower and a little longer. Today we are a little faster and a little more intense. So let's take one more side stretch. Here we go, reach, curve to the front, folding from those hips around, feeling the back, getting a little bit of a stretch. Reach to the side and lift up, coming back to the other side. Reach over. Curving to the front, slide, reach to the side, and up. Last time, over, lengthen, curve to the front, swing, reaching to the side, hips stay down the whole time, up, and breathing, and curve to the front, and side, and lift. Excellent, reaching the arms up, up, clasp them together, bring them into your heart chakra, area and uh, tell yourself you did a great job because you did worked a little bit of everything have a great rest of the day